So, what's the best job in the Navy? That's simple. Becoming a commissioned officer. My bad, I just thought we was all into making money. So you want to know what's the best job in the Navy as far as the enlisted side goes? That's a pretty broad question, and the best way to answer it is to separate it into two categories. Jobs or AKA rates that will prepare you for life outside of the Navy, and jobs in the Navy that are just cruising with the least amount of bruising, but won't necessarily set you up for life outside of the Navy. And here is my top five for both sections. Let's get into it. What's poppin' YouTube? 9 11 the baby go. Welcome to the Go Farm. I got something for you. Today's video was highly requested and brought to you by you guys but if you want to see your own video drop down in the comment section below and let me know i gotta warn you though with each video that i drop i get a lot of requests and there's no way i'll be able to make a video about everyone's question as quickly as i would like to so if you have a question and you would like to see it answered in his own video as soon as possible drop down and support your boy with a super thanks any super thanks five dollars or above will have priority over the other videos no purchase is necessary to get a video but a financial contribution to support the channel will give you priority over the rest of them. Now with all that good stuff out the way, let's get started. Of the first category for getting out the Navy, I would recommend MMs or machinist mates. Machinist mates are responsible for operating and maintaining ship propulsion machinery, auxiliary equipment, and outside machinery. The second good rate that I would recommend for this category would be EMs or electricians mates. Electrician mates are tasked with operating, maintaining, and repairing the electrical systems and equipment aboard Navy ships. Third on the list would be ETs or or electronics technicians. They are trained in computer, aerospace, and electrical engineering to maintain combat readiness across a wide variety of complex ship and aircraft systems. As an ET, your responsibilities may include detecting enemy planes and ships and determining target distance. Number four on this list would be ITs, or information system technicians. They operate and maintain Navy global satellite telecommunication systems, mainframe computer computers, local and wide area networks, and microcomputer systems throughout the fleet. Number five on this list would be DCs or damage controlmen. Damage controlmen perform organizational and intermediate level maintenance and repair of damage control equipment and systems. They plan, supervise, and perform tasks necessary for damage control, ship stability, preservation of watertight integrity, firefighting, and chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear explosive defense. Damage control parties instruct personnel in the techniques of damage control and general defense and prepare records and reports. If something were to hit our ship, it caught on fire and there was a big ass hole about to sink us, damage controlmen are the ones that we're expecting to well control the damage. And you know, just because I love you guys, I'm gonna give you a bonus rate on this list. The bonus rate will be ACs or air traffic controlmen. This is a really good one. Air traffic controllers provide air traffic control services in air traffic control towers. These are the guys that when you're flying in the air, they make sure that you don't crash while you're in the air. This is one of the most rewarding careers in the civilian world that you can learn in the military. It's extremely competitive to get into this profession in the civilian world, and the military can genuinely be your shortcut. In fact, the pay in the civilian world is pretty good as well. This is every bit of a six-figure career in which you can get the training and the experience in the military for free. Now, I don't want to bore you motherfuckers to death, and honestly, the second category isn't as important as the first one, so here's a list of the top five rates that I would recommend that you join if you only care about your experience while you're in the service. Now, I am expecting you guys to be curious about the job, or aka the rate that you chose in the Navy, but when a lot of you guys ask, is this job good in the Navy, or what's the best job in the Navy? I believe there's a possibility that subconsciously you could be asking, will I like this job? And I'm going to save you a lot of time. Nobody knows the answer to that question. There are plenty of careers in the military where one individual thinks that this is the greatest job ever, and the other person thinks that this is the worst decision that they've ever made. You won't really know until you're actually in whether or not you're going to like it. Which is why out of the two categories that I just gave you, I would recommend you choosing a job that will set you up for success outside of the Navy. That way, if you choose to pursue something different, at least you have a skill that was paid for by the Navy that you can rely on to make extra money while you're preparing for a new career instead of
of investing four, five, eight years in the military and going back to work at McDonald's while you're using your government benefits to get on your feet. Yes, technically you'll be working in the same or a similar field once you get out of the Navy while you're trying to prepare yourself for the next step. And if you didn't like it in the Navy, you might not like it in the civilian world, but that's just a hump giving you some extra cash while you're chasing the big bag. More cash than Walmart or McDonald's will give unskilled workers because a lot of careers in the Navy only applies to the Navy. And true, some of them apply to the outside world as well, but you're not going to get paid nowhere near as much doing certain jobs in the outside world that you will get paid in the Navy. Like for example, ringing up people's shit in the ship store. Thank you for your purchase today, ma'am. That'll be $39.95. You got to make smart decisions. 9 11 the baby go. Thank you guys so much for joining the Go Farm. Be sure to drop down in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Support the channel if you want to. Like the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.